Relatives of the victims filed lawsuits accusing MGM Resorts International of negligence for allowing the shooter to stockpile weapons and thousands of rounds of ammunition in his hotel room here at the Mandalay Bay, which is owned by MGM. The company tried to block those victims from getting any money through legal action of their own, but now after eight months of mediation, a settlement is reached. This is the best solution for everybody. A large legal battle comes to a close. MGM Resorts International has agreed to pay between $735 and $800 million, depending on the number of claimants, to settle lawsuits from victims of the 1 October mass shooting. The company has $751 million in insurance coverage that can be used to help cover the cost. Plaintiff's attorney Robert Eglett, who represents around 2,500 of the 4,400 potential claimants, says this effectively resolves the whole situation. All parties will dismiss and release all pending litigation against MGM Resorts. So what happens now? Eglett says an independent claims administrator will be put in charge of dividing the funds to each of the victims' families and survivors named in the settlement. It's unclear how much money each person will get. Eglett tells me this is a fair settlement, but he wishes he could do more. It'd be really nice if we could bring back loved ones when we settle a case or, you know, make injuries go away, but we can't do that. The only system we have is, is compensating people with, uh, with money, and, and that, that's the best we can do. The settlement is not an admission of liability by MGM Resorts, and despite several months of harsh criticism, Eglett is now praising the company. They are, quite frankly, a shining example of what corporations can do in America. In a statement, MGM Resort CEO Jim Murren said in part, quote, our goal has always been to resolve these matters so our community and the victims and their families can move forward in the healing process. Their strength and resilience and um, willingness to persevere in this, in this case has been um, truly inspiring. There are a few cases still in federal court in California right now that Eglett says will be dissolved and added to this settlement. It's expected the claimants will receive the compensation by the end of next year.